I'll tell you what I told everybody else. Black Hole Bertie Holcomb and I are not related. Probably. Huh? I distinctly remember you questioning it back when we landed on Monarch. Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Have I unconsciously slipped into a parallel universe where that never happened? Or were you just having a bad acid trip that day? Right, there's Auric. Hey pal, over here. Hi. Hey there, you are looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? Better than beer? Impossible. Bold claim, I know. But I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I've heard. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. What? Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? It says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Say it ain't so. Yeah, I've noticed as much. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. That's great, but I'd like to ask you some questions about Bertie Holcomb. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. Nah, mate. I'm just a woman looking for answers. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. I'm not here to bring you any trouble. You give me some answers and maybe I purchase some merchandise, eh? Alright, alright, fine. Yeah, I know Bertie. So what? How do you know him? He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. What for? He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. What do you mean tossed ball does things to the head? Come on. Bertie's a damn good hacker, but taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Hmm, I heard you taught Bertie some breathing techniques. Yeah, that was me. Bertie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Was Bertie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Bertie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Okay, thanks for the help, Auric. Not exactly the most trustworthy alibi. Him being who he is. But I'll take it for now. I do want to check with the guard by the meteorological station when I'm back there. Spaceport Security Protocol Checklist. Wait for docking procedures to finish, including ship captain wiring the docking fee. Greet the captain of the docked ship and request the docking fee. If repeat visitor, charge double the docking fee, will not be contacted in advance. Retrieve cargo manifest. Charge a flat percentile base tariff on each piece of cargo. Charge double if captain was surly. If captain complains for any reason, call slug fixes. Offer cargo insurance for a 5000 bit fee. If captain declines, notify slug fixes to rearrange their cargo later. Retrieve loading mechanicals to move cargo to shipping yard. 
open and inspect cargo. Anything not mentioned in cargo manifest, including stowaway vermin or additional cargo, imparts a 2000 bit fine, per pound of cargo or individual animal found. If no additional unmentioned cargo is found, plant your own. Clearly a legitimate and respectable operation. Hi. You one of the new workers? A lost tourist? Wait, I don't care. Just don't knock anything over. I'll try. Got a couple questions for you. Hey, if it meant I could ignore my work, I'd let you talk to me about Sprat reproductive practices. Ask away. How do you manage the shipping yard? This terminal makes it pretty easy to match a ship's cargo to its manifest. If it ain't on the terminal, then it's someone else's problem. What's so bad about managing a bunch of cargo? Nothing. I just hate working. Fair. Same to be honest. Figured it wouldn't last. Anything else? Nope. See you. Terminal. Inside, I guess. Shh. Greetings, employee. Please be sure to report any unauthorized individuals, mechanicals, or sprats that may have wandered into the shipping yard. Manifest for the Rat King. Crew, Mills Cassidy, Whitlock Dash, 17 crates, unmarked, 2 canisters of cacao milk, 1 package, unmarked and wrapped in brown paper, all contents moved to shipping yard. Package was placed in container number 2443 for safekeeping. I guess this is what Dash is looking for. I'll still go to Cassidy though, don't wanna mess anything up. Nana Spanker 258. 8 Rizzo's employees, names withheld. 14 crates of Rizzo's confectionaries and beverages, 3 sets of security armor, 20 stun batons, used. Moved to Slug Warehouse. Crew was most likely lost and mistakenly landed in Slug territory. Should their captain return asking about their supplies, act as if you don't know what they're talking about. Sub lighter. Crew is Captain Leora McDervish and two shipping mechanicals. Six crates of weapons, two crates of medicine. Sent her back with spectrum enough to drown most of Fallbrook. Payment was a little light. Talk to the boss about it. I do want to look in one of these areas. Okay, I get the hint. Where else can we look? I think I've looked down there. Haven't looked here, I don't think. Yeah, I thought it might be a bathroom. Okay. I wonder if all these cargo containers are stored here for any legitimate reason. Or just to give Sublight more opportunities for larceny. You're suggesting larceny isn't a legitimate reason. Hey there. Don't think I know you. What do you want? I like boneless spratwurst. I mean I don't but, you know. Yep, that sure is the passphrase. Even if it is dumb as hell. What's Dash's plan? Hey, hang on. How do I know you're really Cassidy Mills, and not a Mulha? Because I'm gonna tell you where our package is, Hullhead. If I were part of an ambush, you'd have already been arrested. We're in the constabulary for law's sake. You're looking for cargo from our ship, the Rat King. Small package, wrapped in brown paper. It got moved to the shipping yard, but I'm not completely sure where. Okay, that's fine. I actually know where it is. Or I should know where it is because I just read it, but I forgot the number. Let's go back. Container 2443. Right. Where are the containers? I mean they're all over the place. But where's that one? Max mentioned the containers over there. 2443. Am I meant to be getting the package or just telling Dash where it is? 
maybe I'm just supposed to tell him. Where does this go? Okay. Oh wow. Don't think I really want any of this stuff. Hunting rifle hyper? Nah. Interesting. Hope the job's coming along well. No sign of the constable, which really makes me more nervous. She's dead, mate. Okay, no, I'm meant to get it then. Are these the containers? I do have a shroud thing. Been a while. Did we use it a single time on Gorgon? I don't even see numbers on any of them. Would it be in there? Really not sure. 2443 Nothing has numbers on it. How am I gonna know? Where's this? Right. I don't think it's gonna be in here. It's in a storage container. Hmm. Is fight night still on then? So that's where I was. Have I been up there? This port seems real busy. I wonder if they're trying to compete with the groundbreaker. Maybe. I don't know what to make of Sublight Underground. Or Slug, I guess. I can't shake the feeling they had something to do with Ms. Helen's death. Really? I hadn't thought of that, to be honest. You. You got an appointment? Maybe. Appointment? I need to speak with Cedric. Yeah. That's why you're here. Appointment? Um... Can I make an appointment, for right now? Hmm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. The inspector is here to see Cedric. There will be no other outcome. Got it. Inspector, you said? Well, maybe he'll appreciate your blunt charms. Maybe not. We'll see what he has to say. Mr. Kincannon, got an inspector here demanding to see you. Want me to call the guards? No, thank you, Eileen. I've been expecting her. Send her up, please. Yeah, see? I did have an appointment. Not that way, then. Cedric. Hey. Ah, Inspector. Eileen is my right-hand woman, and the finest assistant to ever grace this office. She is also tremendously skilled in causing physical harm. I recommend you do not insult her with any further attempts at intimidation. Oh. Well then, here for my alibi, I assume? Yeah, I guess. First though, what was all that about outside? Another murder? Drunk raptidons? 
Black Hole Birdie, practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. I had a run-in with some slug agents who weren't slug agents. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. Well, yeah. They're dead if that's what you mean. Perhaps you haven't sorted out as much as I'd thought. In short, Slug has not sent anyone to rough you up, Inspector. That would be acting against our own self-interest. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs Slug gear and send them after you? To pit me against Slug, I guess. Hmm, yeah, if they wanted me dead, there's no real point pretending to be Slug, huh? Right again, Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Well, yeah. Gosh, could it possibly be the administrator? How dumb do you think I am? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. I'm used to working with Lou, you see? I hope you won't hold it against me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder? I guess. Let's hear it. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? Wow. And where would I find Elliot Nasser to verify that? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. Ah. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie. And I am. Incriminatingly. People. So your alibi for the murder is that you were busy murdering someone else. Which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. Maybe you didn't like her. Maybe she stole your sweet roll. Maybe you lost your temper, I don't know. So Helen's death is a net loss for Slug. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. I take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your missing cargo then? Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. What's gone missing specifically? <laughs> nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say Slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. <laughs> Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Is there a connection to Helen's murder? I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. I don't know what that means, but it's clearly a fool's errand arguing with you. <laughs> Do tell Ludovico when you get a chance, please. It's astonishing how long it's taking him to have that same epiphany. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> ha ha ha. I like to commit my own horrific bodily harm, thanks. Oh, I never subcontract out that type of work, Inspector. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Oh, I will. Before I get started, though. 
Was there something else you wanted to discuss? The constable is dead. Constable Keen? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? Depends. Did you accidentally kill her? No. I played no role in the good constable's death. Any idea who might have wanted her dead? None. I'm flummoxed. I'd nearly forgotten how that feels. It's quite unpleasant. It is, isn't Thank it? Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. You're actually upset about this, huh? We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul, and law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. Well, now you know. Indeed. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? Why does Ludovico hate you so much anyway? After all, you're such a charming dickhead. The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. And now he regrets doing business with you. An excellent deduction, Inspector. Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Well... How fine of print are we talking? Still technically visible to the human eye, but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Nurturing a grudge is an ugly thing. You should make peace with him. Alas, I can't. I am, first and foremost, the head of Slug, and it simply wouldn't be good for business. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Why do you care so much what the board thinks? Because one day soon, Sublight will obtain a seat on it. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slights, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less than legal business opportunities. Which you are. I wish I could wink, but it always looks like I have something caught in my eye. Kay, I have more questions about Helen. Very well. Did you have many dealings with Helen? A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research, but how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with mag picks, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Really? That didn't strike you as suspicious? That she bought in bulk? Not particularly. It takes time to learn to use tools like that deftly. I wonder, did she run out of time in the end? You know more than you're telling me. I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? It's not a good look for a murder suspect. Am I an official suspect, then? <laughs> Intriguing. I'll look forward to how it all plays out. Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes. Whatever shape it takes. Is that a threat? If you didn't kill her, any idea on who would want her dead? That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? No, not really. I'm not here to play games, Cedric. Good. That's good, Inspector. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. Right. Well, thanks for talking with me. One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? 
you're one of Eridano's major players. It only makes sense. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? No. Bye. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Hand cannon. Ooh. I'd quite like that. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. I'll look at that in a moment. There is a missing gun here. Two actually. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. That gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Plasma, huh? Analyze the fingerprints. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. Yeah, I mean, just making sure. Though, you think it's a little surprising Cedric hasn't cauterized his fingerprints to avoid detection. Ouch. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Okay. And it's plasma. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Is that right? Short range transmission capabilities. The receiver must be somewhere nearby. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We ought to talk shop one of these days. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Moo. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. How long has this been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. Examine the dust. 98.3% of the dust particles are less than 500 micrometers in diameter. If most of the dust isn't even visible to the human eye, then this device can't have been here long. That is highly likely, Inspector. Hmm. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. I mean, how close are we talking? doing whatever i want i'm the inspector all right but i got my eye on you nothing interesting So someone's listening in. Which is definitely interesting. Potentially concerning. 
So we're still looking for this container. And Cedric wants me to investigate some stolen stuff in that warehouse. Let me ask that guy over there if he knows where this container is. Where's he gone? Hey. You one of the new workers? A lost tourist? Wait, I don't care. Just don't knock anything over. There's a package I'm looking for, came from the Rat King. Do you know where it is? Sure do. Why are you interested in it? You authorized? Not that I care, but something untoward happens, it'll be my ass on the line. Well, I don't care about your ass. But sure, I'm authorized. Slug boss Bitcart sends his regards. Oh yeah, I love that guy. You're square. Don't know if anyone will care about whatever Zind is going missing, but I sure don't. Okay. But where is it? Did you... Did you put it on my map somehow? Oh. A heavy package wrapped in brown paper. On the back, the words Love Gladys are scrawled in black ink. Oh yeah, the datapad. The contents of this datapad are incomprehensible to you. It seems to be written in code. Several pages of unrelated words, sentence fragments, and seemingly random numbers conceal its true meaning. Okay, well I have the package, good. People really need to stop placing things in my pockets without me noticing. On the outer worlds of the outer worlds, there's a place that's full of cheer. You'll see happy wings, things to Rizzo's drinks, there is nothing.